the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have spoken out publicly about their time as senior members of the royal family in recent months, in a spate of interviews. Giving press interviews ISNT unheard of. With Princess Diana and Prince Charles giving a number of public accounts of their split in the 90s. But the content of Meghan and Harry's chats have been heavily condemned as they have been seen to repeatedly trash the royal family. The Queen very rarely speaks out on private matters, something a royal expert has put down to her upbringing. Royal biographer Matthew Dennison told Express.co.uk the Queen was brought up during a very different era to the Sussexes, where there was a strict royal protocol to avoid the press and not speak about yourself in public. The expert does not condemn Meghan and Harry for speaking about themselves, but instead puts the difference in approaches down to generational differences. He said, Fundamentally it seems to me that it is a shift in behavioural patterns over generations. The Queen's upbringing was a focus on self-control in the way you behaved in the things you said. The Queen was brought up in a culture in a way that people didn't voice their inner feelings. But he said Meghan and Harry have been brought up in a different era, where speaking publicly about one's feelings is the norm. Mr. Dennison said, We have a strong focus on self. If you listen to people on chat shows they talk about themselves. If you look at people's social media postings they talk about themselves. My understanding is that in this country certainly pre-war it was regarded as bad manners to talk about yourself. I think it is just a shift in behavior and it seems to me that Harry and Meghan's willingness to talk about themselves is more characteristic of their generation. Whereas the fact that the Queen doesn't talk about herself is more typical of her generation. I don't think she will ever lose that self-control and that belief that self-control is a synonym for good behavior. Mr. Dennison's comments suggest the Queen might see Meghan and Harry's outspoken interventions as bad behavior given she sees the opposite approach as the good alternative. Meghan and Harry have given a number of interviews this year, starting with their tell-all sit-down with Oprah Winfrey. During their two-hour chat with the US chat show host, Meghan made allegations of racism against an unnamed member of the royal family. The Duchess claimed there were concerns over how dark their first-born son Archie's skin would be. Meghan also claimed the institution failed to support her when she was feeling suicidal. Since the tell-all interview, Harry has opened up on his time in the royal family. He has criticised his upbringing and appeared to suggest that his father Prince Charles and the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh had failed as parents. When chatting to Hollywood actor Dax Shepard on his podcast Armchair Expert, the Duke said he had to go through genetic pain and suffering before he quit the firm and headed for L.A. He insinuated that Charles had brought him up poorly, due to his own experiences of being raised by the Queen and Prince Philip. Harry also opened up on his past traumas and experiences of mental health throughout his life in an exchange with Oprah for the Apple Plus docu-series The Me You Can't See.